Good morning, everybody. I hope you're well. My thought for the day is a simple one and yet very profound. It is quite simply God's amazing grace. Yes, his unmerited favour towards us. We all know the song and love to sing it. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. And we know the story behind that hymn of John Newton's wonderful conversion. I became a Christian when I was an 11 year old boy. I probably had little awareness of my sinfulness or indeed knowledge of God's amazing grace. But I felt that God was calling me to follow Jesus and I gave my life to him. Obviously, I am much more aware now of that grace and am still amazed by it. It came to mind recently when I was reading the account of the uh, overrunning of the city of Jericho. The Israelites were instructed not to take anything from the city, but to destroy everything and everyone. But one man ignored that instruction and stole some items for himself. He was eventually found out and he paid the price in a very harsh and severe way with his life. In fact, the severity of the punishment quite shook me, but it caused me to think about Jesus. Then I remembered that Jesus had paid the price of the sin of the whole world, not just one man, and that included me, and it includes you. He was sinless, he was God's spotless lamb, and yet he bore the sin of the whole of mankind, that we could have a relationship with God, freedom from our sin, and salvation. It's God's amazing grace. Paul writes in Ephesians chapter 2, For it is by grace you are saved through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. And yet, in Revelation, Jesus tells the Ephesian church that they have lost their first love. It occurred to me that perhaps they would lost sight of God's amazing grace. So today I want you to think about God's amazing grace and think about it every day so that it will always be a sweet sweet sound in your ear. Enjoy the rest of your day living in the freedom that Jesus won for us at Calvary. Thank you. Bye.